So we're just setting up our plastic refineries. Um, we uh, need 10, we need 17 in total. So uh, just for one, uh, ref uh, one 300 uh, pipe is capable of feeding 10 refineries. So I've got 10 set up here in a row. And what I've done is, uh, show you in one second, I'm going to feed them from both ends. Because remember when we did the coal setup, and I demonstrated with, with water and coal, that fluids are everywhere. That they, they don't flow in a direction like conveyor belts. So what I mean by that is, I've got, I'm going to come up this end, and I'm going to come up that side and feed these from both ways. So this pipe that I've got coming down here will come across and feed, uh, we'll put a splitter and, and it's, this is part of the reason why I place things in certain spots because it means where I'm going to place this will be a great spot. Uh, we'll get some more resources and we'll continue in one second. So I made a little bit of a change then um, to get all this working the way I wanted because I realized I should put the fluid buffers down for each of the train stations output. So you can see here I have got, uh, I, I widened this area here. I just changed the alignment of some of the uh, spots where the pipe connectors came. And now we have four fluid buffers to collect that there. And that will then directly connect to here. I will need to change the position of this one. Uh, and but apart from that, everything else is the same. That's the next one. And that's a perfect example right now. The train's about to pull up and do a load. And we can see that the it should stop pumping on that one there because the train's doing its operation. But this one is continuing to pump because this is getting oil from the fluid buffer. Now everything's now backed up anyway, so it's not really doing any more pumping. But nothing here is coming through, and you can see that. Ah, oh, yeah, it it is a thing. It's hard to explain sometimes. Okay, so, so far I've connected, these are all for our plastic, uh, there's 10 here and they've got to do another 7. And before you connect the back, a little tip, uh, select the recipe while you can just run past and do each one. Because once you start adding connections at the back, then you're going to start to run into having to... Uh, um, jump around and move around them and all that sort of stuff. So we'll come back soon as we do some more.